What's up guys, my name is Kaylee and tonight we are at Massachusetts most haunted mansion, the SK Pierce Haunted Mansion. Look at this monster of a building guys. I wanna live here, like this is insane. Just wait till you see the inside. All right guys, now that we are inside, let me give you a tour of this huge, beautiful haunted mansion. So this is what you see when you first walk in. This is one of the side entrances. And at this entrance, there is this absolutely beautiful kitchen. So this mansion, unlike other haunted mansions, is fully like refurbished. Like it's not falling apart and decrepit. It's beautiful and I wanna live here. I wanna live here. Through this door, we have this door. And through this door is a bathroom. And then through this door, oh, that's the basement. No, thank you. No okay. face. Not yet. <laughs> Not yet. Come on. No. What's down there? Ghosts. Ooh. Now we gotta go Creepy look. Creepy red guy. Creepy red guy. All right, guys, we're gonna see the basement. The basement. All right. Oh, creepy red guy is down here. All right, part of our tour. I'm not turning the lights on, I'm really scared now. Creepy red guy. Oh, what is this? <gasps> I'm fucking scaring myself, we're out. We're leaving. No, we'll, we'll, we'll tackle that later. Okay, and then this is like one. I think this is the grand stairway. And then there's another stairway right here. This place is so big, like I feel like I'm gonna get lost in it. And then, over here's a room. Oh, this is so beautiful. Look at that. Look at this. Lovely. Don't touch. Okay, I'm glad I didn't touch it. And then you leave this room. We have another room. With some cool artifacts. These are like original pieces of the house. A nice brick. We love, we love a good brick. Look at these turds outside. <laughs> We're gonna go up the stairwell. Stairway. Look at this lady. Holding a big ball. Let's go. Ooh, this is really cool. I love this <laughs> chair. So here's a room. I just love this wallpaper. They did such a good job. Look at him. This is why we're going fast, it's so big. Okay, we have this bedroom. Ooh, a spin around. Oh my God, there's another room. Okay, ooh, look at him. These are the first stairs. Hallway to the other room, and look at this bathroom. Look at the toilet. It's a freaking hand pulley toilet and a claw foot tub, oh my God. Y'all have no clue how much I want to live here. And here's another bathroom with the hand pulley toilet and the claw foot tub and another bedroom. There's another freaking bedroom. This one has a sink. I love this tiny sink. Ooh, medical papers. Haunted mirror selfie. Sorry. Okay. And then over here, I'm guessing these are all offerings for a spirit that's in this room. And another haunted mirror selfie. Okay. Burned a piece of wood and square-headed nail reclaimed from guest bedroom ceiling where Mr. Eno, sorry, passed away in a tragic fire. Is that this room? I felt, when I was reading that, I felt a really odd cold breeze by my hand. That could be this room. And now I think there's one last area we have to go, which is up to the cap. Or is this a third floor? Oh my God, why is there a whole nother floor? Here's a room. Oh, it's nice and cold up here. It's quite empty. It's huge. Here's a hallway. There's the stairs. Another bathroom. Another bedroom. Literally cannot breathe right now. Too many stairs. Another bedroom. Okay. What is this? Oh. Now this is where we gotta go. The 
house is making noises. Oh, I am up in the cap. We are in the cap. I like these lights. Look, oh my God, I feel like I'm in a skyscraper. I am in a freaking skyscraper, guys. <sighs> All right, so that was your little tour of the house, and now we're gonna get into a little bit of history with the owner. A little bit of the history of the house. First, I'm Marion, okay, I'm the manager of the house. I've been here for 12 years. Um, the house was built in 1875 by Mr. Sylvester Knowlton Pierce. Actually, this is him right here. Okay, this is him right here. Okay, the house is actually four floors plus a tower, <laughs> 6,661 square feet. So you got to get that 666 in there. Oh, right, right. Is that actually accurate? That's is, it? That is accurate, yeah. Ooh. 6661, yep, That's yep. Mm -hmm. It's a Freemason's house, so, hmm. All right, so we're going to walk over this way, okay? And I told you guys it was a Freemason's house. As you're looking around the house today, you're going to see all kinds of symbols for the Freemasons. Okay, Why? they believe that lions were for protection. So can you see the lion's head right here on the door lock? Mm-hmm. It's right here. And then all these are Freemason symbols. Come into the men's parlor. All right, so this is the men's parlor. This is Mr. Pierce's parlor. There's two parlors in the house. His parlor and the ladies' parlor is across the hall. Over here we have the Fiji Mermaid. That is actually an original Fiji Mermaid from uh, Barnum & Bailey Circus. Okay. What is a Fiji mermaid? Yeah. It's, like, it's like a chimpanzee head with some real human hair. It's got bones for fingernails. It was in the freak show at the circus. You would pay a dollar to go into the freak show to see that, the snake pit, the bearded lady, the short guy. And then there's this stuff here. The previous owners, Ed and Lil, they were literally scared out of their home. Um, there's a lot of history with that. It's a little, she actually found a bone downstairs in the basement. I think you walked around the basement. Did you walk around the basement? I got basement? scared. I heard oh. something. <laughs> so I came up the stairs. Okay. All I right. said, no, well, I'll tackle that later. Okay. Well, she was downstairs by herself. She woke up one day, went downstairs and started digging. Mm -hmm. All right. And her husband was looking for her. Couldn't find her. About six hours later, she came upstairs. She was all dirty. And she says, huh, look what I found right here. And he says, where'd you get that? She goes, I dug it up in the kiln downstairs. He says, I'm going to the doctor tomorrow. He had a physical the next day over at Gardner Hospital. He brought the bone with him, and the doctor looked at it and said, Edwin, where'd you find that? It was my wife dug it up in the basement. He said, that's a 16-year-old's female pelvic bone. So why is it downstairs in the kiln? Don't know. All right, so let's go this way. We're going to go into the ladies' parlor. Come on in. I like this parlor. It's nice and comfortable. I feel comfortable in here. It's bright. It's cheery. All right, well, this is the ladies' parlor, as I said. When you passed away back then, this is where they waked you. They had the caskets right here in front of the three windows. You'd come in, you pay your respects, you know, but this is where they did all that. Mm -hmm. This is the main staircase. This is what they would have used, okay? And you guys are here in the dining room. This is your favorite? This is my favorite room. This is the pantry, all original. Everything in here is original. I love this floor. I know, it's gorgeous, right? I love this ceiling. That's I know it's, I, yeah, yeah, I know it's not. This is the room oh. that needed the most renovations. Oh my God, it was horrible. It was just plywood on the floor. You could see into the basement. Oh boy. The ceiling was coming down. The walls were all peeling and stuff. So this needed the most renovation. This is a speaking tube right here. This actually goes up to Mr. Pierce's room. He's got one up in his room. He's actually got two in his room. You just talk through the tube? You talk, just like, yeah. You just talk through If you go upstairs and you say something, we can hear you through here. <laughs> we're gonna have to talk through this tube. And do you think you guys ever got evidence out of that? Uh, I don't know, but I'm gonna stick my face too far. I mean, I'm gonna investigate like that, that too. Watch that. Spooky. Why is it red down here? Oh, we put the red lights for Halloween <laughs> and then the owner likes them, so we just kept it. <laughs> okay, this is where she found the bones. In here. This was full of ashes. It's called a kiln. You would start a fire in here, then there'd be a metal bowl or a metal bucket or whatever. Put water in it, do the laundry, the clothing. There used to be three sinks right there, but we have to take them out and put the French drains in. All right, this is actually David's room. We got a picture of David, I'll show you guys. Um, yeah, he caught him. See how high the ceiling is right there? Oh, yeah. All right, his shoulder goes to the window right there. Oh my God, so he's tall. He's super tall. He's really tall. I took this picture right here. Can you see his head? So yeah. his head is as tall as the pipes. Here's his arm right here. 
sorry, can you see him? His shoulder is up to the, I have to stand on my tippy toes to get up to that window. Yeah, that's a tall man. Is that's that the, that's not the David. red man. I'm going to show you that next. Okay. okay. That's his face. It's like really long. That is long. faint, right? Look at it. Yeah, it's a long face right there. I know. And it's, take, you can see the bricks behind his face. Ugh. This is the one that one of last November, the previous owners were here doing a tour. And the lady wants to come down and take some pictures because she didn't get to come down the basement and take pictures. So she's by herself down here, walking around. She was actually standing in that room right over there. Facing the room where the kiln is, where I show you guys where she dug up the bones. And she gets that guy. I can't breathe in here ever. I got asthma. You think it's this room? Oh, it's this room. Really? It feels heavy. It's very heavy in here. What's up with this room? Both wives died in this room. Oh, that's what's up with it. <laughs> it's velvet, guys. Both wives passed away in this room. First wife died in here. Then he remarried and put a second wife in here. His bedroom's across the hall. But they both have way in here. That's why I can't breathe. This is Eno's room. Eno Osiris burnt to death in this room. April 9th, 1963. He was an auto mechanic. He was working. Came home from work. Decided to go to bed. Drank, smoked, burnt to death in bed. Sad. Very sad. Um, that was in this room here. I came in here and I felt like I smelled something burning. It's like a comedy. It is a comedy. Did you also, know what happened here? I actually did. Did you know, and you know it was this room? Okay. No. Third floor. Oh, another floor. Over here, Susan and Sarah's room. They were both 16 year old servants. Susan ended up pregnant. Don't know how she got pregnant, whatever, whoever did it to her, but she disappeared off the census. We can't find her anywhere. When Kenny wrote the book about the house, she disappeared. What do we find? What the poor shitty picture of downstairs? Who do you think killed her though? Oh, uh, probably somebody that, when she, they found out she was pregnant. Somebody of stature. But who, oh, hmm. you don't want to say it? I know. But I will. I do know that a bunch of um, psychics have come through here and said that it was somebody of stature that was here that actually raped her or whatever and she got pregnant and she disappeared. So you, I know you got thoughts about the maid, so you think like lots of stuff was going oh, on. Oh, a lot of horrible stuff going on. I believe house. it. Because how the, okay, listen, I'm about to talk shit on you, Mr. Pierce. You're gonna be really mad at me tonight, but you were kind of a shitty person. Him getting another wife after a year and he yeah. loved her so much. Mm -hmm. They were married for, well, you gotta figure, how old was Frank? He was 27. So yeah, they were married for like 30 years, they were probably together. What bone was it that they found? Female helicon. Oh, 16 year old female helicon. Who and was this that this disappeared? Yeah. You, you're grasping what we're putting down? Putting it together, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Something's yeah. definitely happened there. Definitely. This is a billiard room. This is his man cave. This is where his pool table would have been. This is where all of his Freemasons friends would come and they would be in here. This is the room that every psychic picks up in this room that rape. I was just gonna say this is where they did all the fucking the bad shit behind you. I don't in the closet. I, and, and you know all I feel in my head. Do you see me patting my head over here? I'm behind the camera. Just I hurt. My head hurts like really, really, really so bad. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's not even worse. Well, every psychic that gets here, they make it to right where she's standing, and um, they're like, "This is a bad room. This is not I don't. the room at all." And they come over here, and they're like, "Oh my god!" All they see is women in there, some women are hanging by the hooks in there, some are on the floor being raped. Oh this is what they picked up. As I've been soon here. as you said that this is where he brought his men and like hung out, I was like, that that's this where he did it. brought all these famous people to the wall for reasons. Mm -hmm. So they could shut the door. Is this closet? Mm -hmm. Have you been in there? I don't even want to be in here. I remember, yeah, yeah. Right where the ring closet is, remember? Yeah. See, it's big enough in there. So actually, tonight, Okay, go in there tonight. Okay, see what you guys can get. Are you going to the SDs or anything tonight? I actually think yeah. I'm going to throw up. Definitely do that. Go tonight. I was here two years ago, not last year, but the year before. Yes! I'm, I gotta leave. I'm dead ass. Oh God. I'm gonna throw the fuck up. All right. Really? Yeah. Oh my God. Where? There's a Where? Where's the bathroom? Where? Where's the bathroom? Hold that. Whoa. Oh my god. That's never happened to you. Oh no. Holy shit. <sighs> as soon as I walked into that room, I felt like- Did you feel? Yeah, yeah, she I did. Up. Oh my god. 
Are you okay? Oh, I'm so sorry. No, I'm okay! Oh. Wow. Oh my god. That's really... That room. No! Yeah. I told you, no, I told yeah. him yeah. before I before went on the drive here, I've been yeah. getting really, like, yeah. very intuitive. Like, I feel too much now. Too much. Like, I don't even, I did not want to feel that. Shit. I just barfed. <laughs> like, I'm in shock. I need to drink some water. Can yeah. I do that and come yeah. right yeah. back? Next to the end is just that's it, okay? That's it. We'll talk more down. Yeah. Okay. Because you guys went up to the tower already. Yeah, right? that's just okay. the tower, yeah. right? Yeah. Oh my god. So Matthew is the pizza place closed. Oh, oh no. not the pizza. Donald's the liquors. Oh, okay. I, Donald's the liquors. I was not going to show y'all my bar on camera, but I literally yes. just do what I don't know. They closed. I mean, I do know what I saw in that room. I, I, I just, I don't know, man. I just walked into that room, and as soon as she said that that's where they hung out, I felt like, okay, this is where they, they did, they did nasty things. And and when she told me to walk into that closet, I literally, th that's when I turned the camera to myself. I felt like I was gonna throw the fuck up, and I really fucking did. I just, I just threw up. I need a break. All right, I wasn't recording because I we were just chilling and we came into this room where all of our stuff is set off and I just started telling Jackie like how I felt that Mr. Pierce felt about me. Like I feel, I feel like he thoroughly hates the way that I act. He thoroughly hates the way that I present myself and, and that I express my feelings against him and how he acted and stuff. And when I was saying that, like, I don't, if y'all watch my videos, watch them from the very beginning and just go along to perceive the progression of, like, the abilities that I am starting to get. I'm telling you, it is, like, insane. I am becoming extremely empathic, even psychic, even, like, mediumship. I'm starting to be able to fucking see them, like, and I'm okay with it. Don't think I'm, don't get me wrong. I am okay with it. I want that, but it's really freaky you know like i'm not used to it this is new to me i only just started paranormal investigating like nine months ago guys so the fact that i get into this and i'm like opening up like this it's it's wild i've been an empath my whole life but i've never had the psychic things happening to me or being able to see spirits now anyways we go in this room and i'm sitting there talking about how how i think mr pierce feels about me i feel this and i'm like he's standing in that doorway just grinning at me like looking at me and i can't see this but i feel it like i just know it i just know it so i take my music box here it is on the ground i take my music box guys and i say stay in that door i turn my music box on and it calibrates and it starts going off and i wasn't recording so you're just gonna have to believe me but it was it was proof that he was actually standing in the door so I don't think I'm crazy at this point because I've, I've been getting so much proof that I'm not. <laughs> like I'd feel stuff and then stuff will happen that proves it. You know what I mean? Uh, but anyways, that, that was crazy. This was all crazy and I think tonight is going to be absolutely insane. So I hope y'all are ready to watch this investigation. I think it's going to get nuts. I already threw up. <laughs> so here it is guys. The SK Pierce Paranormal Investigation. Alright guys, so we just got done turning off all the lights in the house, except for this room. I had to turn it on because I'm freaked the fuck out. I am freaked the fuck out by this house. I never thought I could be. I normally like stuff like this, houses, mansions, not my vibe because they're not scary enough, but I am terrified here. Um, but anyways, we turned off all the lights. We are about to get into the investigation and we are going to start in the room where I threw up. We are gonna start this off with a bang. We're gonna start this off with a double Estes in the closet. I wanna get some answers. So not only did I throw up in that room, but after we left, we were eating pizza, me, Jackie, and Renee, and the two boys were upstairs in the closet room investigating by themselves. And the spirits were asking them to bring the girls up, specifically me. So, I'm gonna go in the closet. I literally might say a prayer before going in the fucking closet. I don't even believe in God, oh my God. All right, I'll see you there. Can you make that go off right now? What? Hello? 
Alone. What do you mean? Do you want Kaylee alone? In this room? I think that's what they want. I want it. I want it. Make, can you see this? No. <laughs> the red pod just went off. Look. Hey, whoever's in this room. Shut up. Let me show you how to use this. So it says yes and no on this box. And if you tap it when the box is on yes, it'll say yes. And if you tap it when it's on no, it'll say no. Do you want me in this room alone? No. No. Do you want me in the closet alone? No. That's a fucking Oh, that's a yes. I'm oh, sorry. No, I was looking at it. It was on delayed in my brain. Okay. No way. No way. No. Why? Can you tell me? Okay, I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll do it. But you need to tell me why. <gasps> oh. Yeah. Did you? I said I want you out. Who do you yes. want out? Who? Oh my I God. Human. I'm a woman. I want you out. I'm a woman. I want you out. Why does it want me in there though? Who wants me in there? Who? Holy I've never shit. seen that. Yeah. Everything's going off. Now it says no. I don't know. I don't know. I don't even know what to ask. Okay, stop. Can you stop? Can we can we use that to answer question? Shut up. It said no. It said no. That's why I told it to shut up. Now it's recording. Okay. All right. She's going in. She's gonna go under. Oh. Both of them going off. As you said, she's going in. That goes Do you want to know what? Absolutely insane. As soon as I sit in this fucking closet, my head is pounding. Like I feel like I just got punched in the fucking head. That's how bad it is. Not like a head, but I just yeah. got beat the fuck over the head. What happened to them? They're probably gonna beat the shit out of them. That's yeah. what I that's what I mean. Why when I was standing there I feel it on my head and now I'm, I literally I felt nothing. Now and I felt it hurt. yeah. I felt it over my eye earlier. Well now I feel it here. Like I feel like I literally got Cracked in the fucking face. That's a lot of hatred for women. Oh, they hate women. Yeah. They hate them. I feel it. I feel hatred. All right, she's under. Are we talking about her? Are we talking to Gil Gilbert still? No. Then who are we talking to now? Oh. Leave. We're not leaving. What is your name? I am the devil. You are not allowed to touch her. You are not allowed to touch Kaylee. You can't hurt us. Bitch, you heard me. Yeah, I heard you. And My you're turn. You know you're a whore. Well, I know that's not true. What's your name? Tell us your name. the tap out there. There's something else. $2. Me. Are you buying women? Women are not to be bought. Are you getting angry? I'm feeling the drift. Are you guys feeling it? I feel a little bit. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe. Feels weird. Well, let's see. There's more to come. More to come? What do you mean by that? Yes. I don't care. What is your... You'll die. What is You guys your... can't hurt us. So... You guys have no power over us. We're not afraid of you. Tell us your name. I'm just tapping it. Oh no? Let's sit down. 
Who are we talking to? No. no. She's creepy. Close it. Close what? Close the door. You. You said you would. Or not closing yes. the door. Because I started to close this door and told him to finish it. Yeah. Why don't you close the Go door? On. Are you are you mad at us for not finish yeah, finishing the door by closing it? If we close the door, are you gonna hurt Kaylee? I'm not that bad. What do you want with Kaylee? Are you in trouble? Yes. Why are you in trouble? Hate. Fuck. That bitch. Why do you hate women? Get naked. No, thanks. Absolutely not. You can't even make us. You should be in jail for what you did to those women. I'm sure that's what you like to tell yourself. No. I did something <coughs> after it. I did it. It's going off with the kid too. Yeah. Are you getting angry? I said maybe we should take her out and it said yes. Yes. Oh. Well. Yes. There was a woman found in the furnace, right? Save her the girl. Yeah. In the furnace, the pelvis. As you were talking about it's a favorite girl. That girl. Yeah, yeah. That girl. Mm-hmm. Could this be the missing girl? I don't want to. You're referring to? Is that the bad thing that you did? You put her in the kiln? Is the kiln still in here in the basement? Mm -hmm. <gasps> Was it saying yes? I said no. Yeah, sure. Do you regret? Oh, yes. Yeah. I was okay. gonna say, let's take her out. But you can come in this closet. They're gross. They're really gross. I was just saying I wanted to take you out, and everything went crazy. And then that said yes, because I was like, I think we should take her out. Pretty vile. Yeah. Yeah. To it. Oh no, I I know what I'm saying. I I feel fucking violated. I feel violated. Yeah, yeah you feel like you your energy is like amped up. I want to yeah. throw up. But not yeah. from like, I don't feel like sick. It's like I feel fucking disgusted, is how I feel right now. Well, I was just asking about the woman that was found in the kills. And you said favorite girl. When I was about that was his favorite? Probably. She was the youngest. Yeah. I want to I wanna talk to you. I want to talk to you. Who? Nobody. Nobody. Ever. Nobody ever did. what? Nobody ever did. Ever. I think you said did. Oh. Did what? Nobody ever did ever. Did what? Yeah. What are you talking about? Rape. Rape? 
Did you leave somebody? Yes, the envoy said yes. I want that to come out. Saturday. Of on, on, was it a Saturday? Is that what you did on Saturdays? The envoy yes. said yes. Is that what the boys did on Saturdays? You got all the boys in here? Holy shit. Am I picking, am I picking up on something? You, you and your boys got together in this room on a Saturday. And you went to town. Uh-huh, you went to town on some helpless girls. Is that what you did? Is it what you did? You look funny. You look fucking funny. Did he say watch mouth? Yeah. Watch your mouth. Baby. Baby. Who you call him baby? What if I told you I'd beat you in a game of pool? How does that make you feel? I have no teeth. No. Well that fucking sucks. Sounds like he does. <laughs> okay. No. Somebody punch you in the face? Did you get your yeah. teeth knocked out? Did somebody punch you in the face? There's a lot of people. Yeah. Yeah. Richard. There's eight. Richard. Can you confirm that there's eight? Get out. Get out, Richard. Bye, Richard. Okay. Can you confirm that there's there's eight men in here? Eleven spirits. Oh, eleven spirits? There's eleven spirits in this house. That's a true thing. Is that what he said? He said eleven? I thought he just said I eleven said spirits. Other spirits. Maybe he said other. That's not real quick. Because mad, it said Clark. Clark. Clark's the guy who follows us around. Clark! Clark again. Clark's a good thing. Yeah, you think it's Clark again. Oh god, you guys have an attachment too. I'm going back at you, just trying to get us to take him to Michigan. That's such a funny fucking attachment. You got him at Devil's Den and Gettysburg. Oh, just left there, really? Yeah. We saw him happy birthday to him and they attached all of us and we're trying to get to Michigan. Aw, Clark, are you here, Clark? Is this you? I feel like Clark's touching this. Are you Clark? If there's four boys. Clark. Are there? Clark, get the fuck out. Take me. Take me. Clark. Clark, get the hell out of here. We need to talk yeah. to the other guys. Take me. Motherfucker. Motherfucker. Okay, I I agree. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I <laughs> I agree. Take me back, that was clear. Every time this dude Clark keeps talking, this no, goes off. He's asking us to take him back. He's what? asked us all the time to take him back to Gettysburg, and we do it. He never stays in Gettysburg. <laughs> he just comes back with him. Okay. This is, I kind of like, I'd rather talk to Clark than those fucking dirty dirt bags talking to me in there. Clark's a nice guy, he falls over there. Aw, Clark. He's just annoying, he's scary spirits all sometimes. I think this is funny. I think we should move. Yeah, I'm done with this room. Yeah, yeah we're done too. Are you done, Clark? Why do I feel like Clark's the one fucking with the red pod? Oh yeah, he's the first person to ever touch our hand. Maybe he loves it. Clark, Clark, listen. If this is you, can you make that turn blue? If that's you, Clark, make it blue. Make the light blue. Make it blue and I'll take you to Michigan. <gasps> Did it? Oh my gosh. Uh, uh, what look what it just spelled out. It, it spelled? You want to know? Hi. 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 Oh, he's keeping it blue! Wow. He's keeping it blue! Clark, you- I like you! I heard you. I feel tired, so I'm not going with this. What? I heard you was hearing me. Yo, you're- you're mad Clark is in here, and he is intelligent. And oh, he's- Oh, yeah, we, we get it. Oh, Justin, did you see what just happened? What? We said, make it go blue. And I said, I said, make it go blue. He's and I'll doing it again! To Michigan. He's and trying. He's trying. Yeah. And then the envoy said hi. And he was like, yeah, I know. He says bring him back to Gettysburg. I knew that the guy touching your REM pod was your dude because he won't, no one's going to touch the other REM pod. Oh, wait, I think Clark. Clark, 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 listen, stop. Stop, listen, listen. I see it. We see blue. Stop. Stop, Clark. Stop. 
Come on. No more, no more, no more, no more, no more. You know what? My head hurts in there too. That's okay. Like a big migraine type. You really have the same thing. No. No more. Now, now do this for me. Are you ready? Look, Clark, I have a test for you. I have a test for you. Look. Look at this, Clark. Do you see how this has numbers? Come here and look at this, Clark. Do you see how this has numbers? There's a little box. And when that box goes on a number, look. It'll say three. So the box is on three. I hit it and it said three. Ready? I'm gonna make it say zero. Okay? Now, can you make this box say seven? Now take your time, but I want you to make that say seven. So tap it when the box is on seven, Clark. Show me how smart you are. Come on. I know you know how to do it. You're very good at Rembod. Touch this. Seven. Listen. Clark, that's a fucking zero. <laughs> Come on. Seven. Make it say seven. I will literally be waiting. Make it say seven. No, don't don't be doing all that. Seven. Only seven. Figure it out. I'm gonna pick up myself. Yeah, just... Eight? He's getting close, oh, he's, he's getting close. He's coming back. Maybe he's coming to himself. He's trying, you can tell. It just keeps going and going. All right, listen. You got, you got 30 seconds to make it say seven. Okay, One. Two, the camera? Three, yeah, yeah. Four. He did it! Oh, yes, 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 he did it! Yeah. Yeah. I fuck with Clark. Clark. Yeah, three. Three. I fuck with you. Good job, Clark. Good job, Clark. Man, we got Clark. Four. You're chill. We'll start planning the trip, Clark. All right, guys. We are now on the second floor in what is his name? Enil. Enil. Enil's room. He's the guy who caught himself on fire smoking a ciggy. Um, so we're gonna try to talk to him. <laughs> Enil, if you're in here, do you think? Can you touch this guy? Can you come touch this? Um, I also have some other stuff. I'm gonna stick this music box down this hallway. It's here. Yay, I like you. I don't know what it is, but I think I like you. Okay. All right, well, I got a bunch of stuff to talk to you. There's a music box out there. I don't know if you wanna go out in the hallway and test it out. If you'll walk in front of it or touch it or play some music. I also have this thing. The thing is called an envoy. You can touch it, make it say yes and no. Is it true that you set yourself on fire? No. Was it an accident, Ina? No. Were you smoking and drinking? And you were working right before that? And you spilled accelerant on yourself and didn't shower? Is that what happened? Yes. His niece came in here a couple of months ago and told us that nobody knew anything that he was working. He was an auto mechanic and he was working at the garage and he spilled accelerant on himself. And when he came home, he didn't shower and he fell asleep. Wow. And he literally like combusted. He did. Yeah, it yeah. said no. Mm -hmm. He was sitting in a chair, right? He's, He's sleeping in bed. Sleeping in bed. Sitting. Oh, really? Right. His bed came out from that window out this way. You know, why do you stay yeah, here? Do you wanna? Do you wanna tell us why you stay here? Are you? Are you stuck? Are you stuck in the house? Do you mm -hmm. feel like you have unfinished business? Was this your home, Nina? Do you don't want to leave? Yes. I don't blame you, it's a beautiful home. Do you like the other people in the house? 
the other spirits, do you, do you like them? Are you all friends? Do you all get along? He's only answering you. He likes you. You know, I have another question for you. When you were on fire and you were screaming for help, nobody came to help you. Is that true? Maybe he doesn't want to talk about his dad. I feel like they hate that. Mm -hmm. Did you, you like to play pool? He likes to pool upstairs. Yeah. You want to talk about something else? And he liked the Cubs. <laughs> you got to like the Cubbies, yeah? Favorite team? Uh, what's your favorite booze? Do you like, okay, I need you to, so you can touch the REM pod to let me know for yes, or you can just say yes and no up there. What, tell me what your favorite booze is. Did you like, did you like whiskey? You a whiskey dude? Did you like vodka? Did you like rum? Yes. You like rum? Do you got any rum up here? If not, we gotta go get you some rum. We got bourbon whiskey. We got... That's vodka. Where's your rum? Is this a rum? I don't know what that is. These don't look like rum. But they could be. What the fuck are you? What are half of these? Do you even know what half of these are? Would you drink this? You probably didn't have this. Would you drink this? I'm gonna take it as a no. Where's your rum? He likes rum. Probably in the other room in the store. I don't know what any of these are. I'm too you stupid. Say, no, you're not. Come help me pick what one's rum. Yeah. Said no. So he wouldn't drink that one. I'm just... real, no. Do you, is there any rum in the house? Yeah, probably in the secret stash. Where's that? In Mr. Pierce's room behind the fireplace. Oh, lovely. Oh, you guys walk really past the fireplace. Right. I hate this guy. <laughs> Mr. Pierce, I'm coming to steal your whiskey. <laughs> Where the fuck's the whiskey? Can you say behind you? Oh, secret stash. Okay. Not whiskey. I'm stealing your fucking rum, Mr. Pierce. You don't deserve it. Rum, what are you? I don't think there's rum in here. Oh my god, we gotta go get this man rum. There's no rum in this house. Oh, sorry. Do you, do you need us to go get you some... Some rum? Did you know rum's actually my favorite? Oh, I said yes. I will literally go to the liquor store right now. I'm leaving. Are you really? Yeah. There's no, they're not open. It's not open. Are they closed? Yeah. 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 I will bring him Edu? some rum if he says so to you. Edu, was that his I will bring rum to you. Yeah, I know. Okay. Edu. I have to be here at 2 o'clock tomorrow, so. E Eno. Eno. Listen. Eno. Marion will bring you rum, but you have to say yes. I think that works. Aww, he yes. wants rum. Okay, I like him. I like you, Eno. Do you like me? I like you. Do you like me? I like you. <laughs> Do you like me? I just got her to get you rum. No! You know what? I'm fucking leaving. Bye. Sure. Take it back. Take it back. <laughs> Take it back. Some of it makes sense. Oh, your music box is different than mine. Mr. Pierce, are you in here? That's not what the grid makes. That's not what the fucking grid makes. That's not what the grid makes. That's not what the grid makes. That's not what the grid makes. 
No, and that's not that's not what I heard either. Something just fell. No! Yeah, yeah, you yeah. caught it? You caught it? Yeah, I heard it. Where? It sounded like like it sounded it was like, like a crack. It sounded like Wait, no. where are they? They're in the basement. They're right? in the basement. Something fell like over here. No. Yeah, okay, hey, listen. Did something just fall over there? Oh my god, I don't like this. I don't like this. I don't like this. It sounded like, uh, like in the game corner. It sounded like, what's that game they play? No. Evil. No, it's not evil. It's evil. Everything was pool? Small. Pool. That's what it sounded but like. But listen, uh, before. Like, before it's like pool? It, found like, it sounded like them like getting hit. Like clacking. That's what I It sounded like them getting hit. Before that, I'm staring at the, the hell door. What the was that? None of you heard this. I heard it. I heard. No, no, not that. That was another noise. Yeah, we heard it. The thump. We heard a big thump I'm coming up my... the fucking stairs, and that's made. That's what made me look at Koda walk to the door, and that's when I heard shh, and then that's when we fucking heard clanking. What you heard? Is that the spirit box? Did you turn it off? No, it's off. Something fell. Something you know, fell. It was coming it's, up it's, the it's stairs. Something was like, like we felt like the, the music air box is going off behind so you. Yeah. Yeah, we. What is that? Wait, wait. What is that? That's whoa, whoa. What the fuck is standing right here? No, that was scary. I start walking out of this room in here. Shh, and I'm like, I literally fucking scurried back in the room. That scared the shit out of me. What's in here? And then, and then something fell in that room. But I heard the thud that you guys heard was on the stairs. That was like a big stomp up the up the stairs because I heard that. We, we heard were sitting it. at the bottom. It sounded of the like it happened up here. Yeah. Well, I heard it over here, so maybe it was in that room. I heard it out here. That's yeah. why I came out here to walk. It might have echoed out here. Yeah, we weren't sure where it was coming about. Like, it sounded like it was above us. Who who's here with us right now? Are you? There's someone in the room touching the envoy. Are you able to move something? Can you move something? How about this door? Can you move that door? Push it. Push it. Push it. Push it. Push it. Come on. Move that door. Do you think he was trying to get us out of this room? That motherfucker's scary. He succeeded. He succeeded. Yeah. What happened? We were in. Oh, harassing was him. Um, oh, not was him. Mr. Owens just appears in the room. We weren't even in there. Two minutes. Yeah. He never said physically, but he showed. And that's not you. Is it picking up us? No. All the way over here? No. No, no. it's not. That's the no. thing. And you know what's crazy is this is going off right now too. It's someone standing right fucking here and they're both going off. There's blue lights going off and then that going off. They're right the grid? They're right here. The grid doesn't go off there, it goes off here. It shows oh. detection on the grid up on the thingy and there's cold spots right in front of it. And that doesn't make sense because that room's hot. Okay, so we just left the second floor. We did that EVP session, the silent session. Didn't really get much. I mean, I don't know, maybe I'll watch this back and we got some crazy stuff. Sometimes the camera picks that up. Um, I am really, really, really hating this house, which is so ironic because I normally literally don't give, don't care for places like this. It's restored. It's not scary, but I fucking hate this place. I hate this place. I hate the way it makes me feel. And Renee had the great idea that we're gonna do isolations and we're gonna draw from a fucking something. And I know damn well one of those, one of those rooms is that fucking closet. And <laughs> I actually might cry if I have to go sit up in that closet. Alright, who wants to go first? I'll go first. Oh, oh, this is a great room. I got a good room. This is a good vibe oh, room. Yeah, oh, thank good. fucking bananas. The, the parlor room, the white That's parlor the white, room. Yeah. It's the good room that people get good vibes in. Oh, thank God I needed it. Spirit new. I got SK Pierce, this is the one I wanted to do. I get the basement. <laughs> Please base. So basement. Basement. Well, what you get? 
It's like a forest Oh, case. we're on the same floor. Oh, well, we have the equipment, so. Yeah, we kind of. Yeah, like, what is this? Red crew? Red room. Red, red room. room. Yeah, so you're in the, on the second floor in the red room, like the red wallpaper. Okay. I feel bad for whoever has to go in that closet. I'm on the fucking third floor. You're in the for closet. The Where? You didn't put the closet? I just said there. It could be in the closet. I mean, it's the third floor, room nine. So you can do whatever you want in room nine. Oh, that's you, what you want? That's what I got. I'll be careful up there. I really yeah. don't like that. I feel like there are creeps up there. I feel Maybe. like I feel like they do stuff that you can't feel. All right, guys. So before we all separate into our isolations, I am going to take a walk throughout the entire house alone with my cell phone camera and just take a bunch of pictures with the flash on and see if we get anything. Now, if I kept something crazy on these pictures, I'm leaving, I'm running away. I'm gonna go in the white room that I'm supposed to be in and talk to you guys. I, we need to sit down and chat. Okay, I have no equipment with me but my phone and I I just want to be real with you guys and tell you what what is going on with me tonight because I know if you have been watching me from the beginning or or even if you just watched a couple videos of mine I have never acted like this and I'm almost on the verge of tears and I'm going to tell you guys why. I ever since I came in here and and found out the story and I think the things that I said made made him very angry and I don't I don't take back the things that I said if you're a bad person whether you're dead or alive I'm gonna stick by my word I can't, I don't know if I regret saying that or not no I definitely do I regret I regret getting on his bad side because I I I said this off camera to Marion uh, Jackie and Renee I don't think I said it to Renee, I said it to Jackie and Marion. I, this is gonna get a little bit personal. I don't get pains. So let's, let's talk about what did they do to the girls in the closet up there? They R-A-P-E-D'd them, okay? And I didn't feel this when I was, I didn't feel this when I was up in the closet doing the Estes. I didn't feel this, but I felt it when we were doing the silent session on the second floor, I started getting pains down there. And I don't I don't get my my menstrual cycle because I'm on I'm on a birth control shot. So I don't get it. So I don't get pains down there. I don't get monthly cramps. And I I feel violated. Let's let's get to right to the point. I feel violated. I feel like I've been violated by a ghost. And I'm on the verge of tears. I, I, I. That was a really weird noise. I don't know if I caught that on my camera, but I, I just, I really don't like it here. And I've never been like this because the place itself isn't scary. But I think the spirits in here are scary on another level because. Fuck, I've had a demonic attachment that has literally tried to kill me, it has scratched me, it has said it wanted to kill me, but I've never had a spirit actually, like, violate me, and and the things that it was saying during that Estes, I, I think a spirit violated me. I don't want to talk about it anymore, but I really felt like I needed to put this in this video for documentation, even though I feel I feel really, really uncomfortable talking about this right now, and I I don't know. Um, all right, guys. So for this last session, we're gonna be keeping it pretty simple. I have some mag lights I'm gonna set up. This isn't that simple, but I want to turn this on, see if the ovulus has anything to say about this room. West, it said West. I have a voice recorder to do my own EVP sessions in this room, and Marion said 
that they like dowsing rods here. So we're gonna do a dowsing rod session in here. None element. Okay. Um beg. Beg? Wish? Those are like the same words. Right? Iron. What? Why is there so much coming through? Like a lot. Holy God, what? Do you guys see how much is coming through on this? Sometimes nothing comes through at all. What is going on in this room? I'm gonna sit the flashlight maybe behind me. Sun. Are you talking about my flashlight? Does it look like a sun? Are you telling me to be quiet? Fate. Guys. Abort. Abort. What is going on? This thing is spitting out words like crazy. What is going on? Poor candle dog. I don't know what that means, but... Okay. Let me set up these flashlights. Uh, some flashlights behind me so if they go off you guys will see them I'm gonna do a dowsing rod session um, I don't think I properly introduced myself and I, I apologize for that to any spirits that I may have disrespected on accident uh, my name is Kaylee why is this blurry my name is Kaylee and I can promise you I come with the utmost respect for you. Um, I'm not here to bother you. I'm not here to harm you. Uh, I have respect for every spirit in this house, except for Mr. Pierce and the people who raped in that closet. Fuck you. I don't change my mind. Why is this so blurry? Um, but for the other people in the house, especially the ladies, I would really like to talk to you. If there's children here, I'd love to talk to you. Uh, maybe we got off on the wrong foot. Maybe we were talking to a children, to a child or a lady the whole time. I don't know. Um, and I apologize if I offended you in any way. Um, so I have these rods in my hands, okay? So how we can... Okay, I don't know what, why that just happened. Um, but if there's anyone in this room, I have these rods and we could use them to talk to each other. If you come up to them and push them, they swing so you can push them in an X. You can cross them like this or like this. That can mean yes, so cross for yes. And we can open, open like this, but no, okay? Can. Is there, is there anyone in here with me? If there's someone in here, can you cross the rods? There's anyone in this room who can cross the rods? We gotta do this question. Is there anyone down here with me? Anyone. Hello. Can you, if there's anyone in the room, can you move the rods? You just have questions, can you move the rods? There's also some flashlights behind me that you can turn off and on. We can use the black one for yes and the pink one for no. Can you turn on a flashlight behind me? Is there anybody with me? Guys, these rods are not moving. And you want to know something? I feel alone right now. I don't think there's anyone in here. I don't, I don't think there's anyone here, guys. I don't even feel anything in this room. Actually, if anything, I feel, I feel very safe in this room, which is interesting because this, this was the ladies' parlor. This is where the ladies would be. I like this room, even though this is where they did the funeral services. I like this room. I don't know why. I feel calm in here. 
Maybe, maybe there was a reason I, when we pulled out of the bowl, maybe that's why I picked this room. Maybe it's a safe spot. I'm crazy, but this house. Whoever is in here, like, I don't know, whatever I was talking to in that closet is gross. Very, very gross. I think I'm gonna end my video here. <laughs> Let's give it a rating. Scary wise, okay, the house itself, the way that it looks, zero. Not scary. It's, I'm not even scared at asylums, but the spirits that are in here and the way that they act and the things that they did, terrifying. Five out, of five out of five, this is the most scared I think I've ever been. I'm so on edge here. I threw up. I just feel sick to my stomach in this place. I, I, I don't like it here. I do not like it here. I feel very uncomfortable here. I feel violated here. Paranormal wise, how haunted is it? It's definitely fucking haunted, but I go based off of activity. I mean, I mean, things were going off. REM pods were going off. That's it was quite a bit of activity. So I'm gonna give it a four. I'm gonna give it a four. I mean, I don't know what I caught on this camera. Everything is always different when I'm editing. I always catch things while I'm editing, and I'm I'm actually so scared to edit this video and see things that I didn't see. But that was it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. This ended up being a more serious video for me. Like I I really did not like it here i did not enjoy this experience and i've literally had a demonic attachment i say had because i think it's gone and that didn't even scare scare me nearly as much as these human spirits did humans are scary things that humans do are scary I hope you all enjoyed this one, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!